Hello, I'm Freddy Lopez. Today I'm going to show you how to ground a transformer. What you need to know is there has to, there has to be a rod that's intentionally grounded in the ground. So this is going eight feet under in the ground. It gets drilled in. You find a way to do it. And then we, uh, we CAD welded a, uh, a number six. As you read the code, it says a number six or a number eight stranded. We CAD welded it to there. We could have used other, uh, other means to do it, but we used uh, CAD weld to do it instead. And then the next thing we do is we, uh, we crimped it on this end with a bus with a lug on it. Can you see it? So now we're going to, this is called XO. We're going to ground XO. XO does your neutral. Here's your neutral going back to the panel. The panel's the neutral, it takes the neutral, and it takes the unbalanced load. So we're going to ground XO, which is already bonded right here with this ring wire. It's bonded to the transformer itself, the metal plate. You want to make sure that everything is bonded and grounded. So this is called grounded. It's intentionally grounded, which becomes the neutral. This becomes, this, this XO becomes the neutral bus bar, which takes the neutral unbalanced load, which takes it back to the earth takes it back to our to this, uh, grounding rod. And we're gonna, you can either ground it X hole right here on the, on the, X, on the X hole, or you can ground it right here. You see that right there? This is grounding X O to the, to the frame itself or the transformer and to the ground rod, which is intentionally grounded, which makes it a neutral. So that's how you ground a transformer. I hope that was informative and helpful. Thank you.